Hey guys, uh, and welcome back to this place. Uh, it's Carmen, and today we are going to watch something very exciting, and that is the second official trailer for season seven of Game of Thrones. And I think that it's probably going to be the last trailer because we are less than a month away from the premiere. <sighs> you guys, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so I don't really have a lot to say to preface this. Let's just watch it because I'm really excited. Okay, it's called Hashtag Winter is Here. I'm about to press play. I'm really excited. Okay. Don't fight in the north or the south. Fight every battle, everywhere. Always. Sounds just so pretty. In your mind. centuries our families fought together against their common enemy despite their differences together we need to do the same if we're going to survive because the enemy is real it's always been real snows fall and the white winds blow oh. the lone wolf dies but the pack survives oh, oh my god Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, okay. There was so much, so much in that trailer. Oh my god, there was so much though. Sansa! Um, that was like a lot of Sansa and a lot of John in that trailer, like talking at least. No stunts. Um, I saw Arya. I think that's, a, I've already seen a still of that shot of Arya. But where was she? You guys, all I need in life is for my Starks to be reunited. And Bran, Bran was in the trailer. Bran, Bran, Bran is in the trailer. And did you see um, Varric Dondarrion with the flaming sword? Like that means the brotherhood. That means the brotherhood without banners. <gasps> what if we get an Arya and Gendry reunion, you guys? And okay. So who is John talking to? It sounds very like he could be talking to Danny. Or what if he's freaking talking to the Lannisters? That would be crazy. Is the climbing sword supposed to be Lightbringer that Dundarian is holding? Or is it just like a flaming sword? Because he had the flaming sword before, right? With Arya. And the hound and the cave place. Oh, I really need to rewatch Game of Thrones. It's been so long since I've seen all the seasons. I'm gonna have to do a quick rewatch before season seven. Okay, you guys, I know this is just this is just ramblingness, but I was I was so excited. I kinda wanna cry. Um Okay, I like that is one of my favorite quotes, the when the harsh winds blow or whatever, you know, the one about um, 
the lone wolf dies but the pack survives <sighs> that is like one of my all-time favorite freaking game of thrones quotes and they just used it they just hit me in the feels and <sighs> the dragons the dragons look amazing and john is north of the wall which is exciting and scary but i want my baby to die again <laughs> um Okay, so tell me what is your favorite part of that trailer? What are you most looking forward to in season seven? Um, again, if you notice something super obvious that I missed because I was fangirling like crazy, please tell me. Um, but I definitely saw Jamie fighting. I definitely saw it looked like uh, Theon and them fighting. We saw the fleet, uh, Danny's fleet landing in Dragonstone. Um, you guys know I'm always here for Arya, so I'm really, I need to know where Arya is and what's happening with her. And if she freaking reunites with Gendry, I'm going to be so damn excited. Like, but okay, I need a scene of um, Arya and John and Gendry, just because that would be very weirdly reminiscent of, like, Robert and Lyanna and Rhaegar. Not to imply anything, um, but you know, untoward, but it would just be really cool to see the next generation of that. I just need Arya and Gendry to reunite. I need Arya and John and Arya and Bran and Arya and Sansa. I just need my Starks back together again. Okay. And this is I'm gonna have to cut like half of this. But um you guys I'm I'm really excited, okay? Like, this trailer made me so much more pumped than the last one. I don't know, maybe because it's, like, I realize now that it's, like, less than a month away. But, oh, my children, my children. I'm really excited. Winter is here. Winter is here. And I'm ready for it. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling now because it's way too long. Until next time, guys. <laughs> Bye.